All right, it's what we've been fearing from the beginning, resulting violence because of this clown-related excitement. And now it's happened in Sandy. New specialist Lad Egan is live at Jordan High School with what happened here. Lad? Yeah, Ashley, two 14-year-old boys wearing clown masks showed up last night during the Powder Puff football game here at Jordan High School. The boys, they thought it would be funny, but as they were leaving, a group of other students came after them and punches were thrown. Now investigators are trying to figure out how many kids were part of this group that went after the boys wearing the clown masks. Those involved in the attack are expected to face criminal assault charges, but as for the 14-year-olds in the masks... They did something that wasn't illegal, but probably wasn't in their best judgment. Uh, and, and given the, the, the uh, threats that have been going on online uh, recently and the trending types of things. So judgment definitely called into question. Anything criminal, no. The school district says the injuries were minor, though one of the boys did go to the emergency room to be checked out. Here in Sandy City, another school that was dealing with an online clown-related threat earlier in the week. Police tell me that charges could also be filed in that case against one of the students there at that school. That was Eastmont Middle School. We'll have more on that coming up on KSL 5 News at 6. For Live at 5, Lad Egan. Lad, thank you. A live look now.